Hello everyone and welcome to the another edition of the Computer Doctor Show. Thank you for joining me. I am on my drive home and I had a very interesting uh, day today. I wanted to tell you about an experience. My last customer uh, had a very interesting question. I had uh, sent her an invoice for my services to her email and she said that she didn't get it. So I told her to check her uh, junk mail, spam folder. Now we all have these spam folders uh, as that come inherent with our email account. And what basically it's designed to do, it's designed to have a general, it generally looks at certain aspects of incoming emails that you have. And it kind of makes a little bit of a decision for you uh, as to whether it is uh, a pertinent email or if it's just uh, sales or something that it believes that you're not interested in. Or, or if it's, uh, more importantly, if it's a scam or not. So some emails have a particular language or buzzwords that are used very commonly to, uh, that, that are often associated with either a scam or a sales pitch that people usually are not interested in receiving. Also, if it looks like something that is unsolicited, something that does not use your name uh, your your actual name in the email, it'll put that into junk by, by default. But sometimes it doesn't always get it right. Sometimes things end up in the junk mail folder that should have ended up in your uh, inbox. Now there's a general, there, there's a way that you can make this work for yourself and there's a general way for that, for little corrections to be made to the algorithm of the email system as a whole. And that is to click the mark as not spam button. Okay, so you can actually go into the, your spam folder, click on a message, and one of the options that the system will give you uh, for those for that message is to obviously uh, you know forward reply reply to all something like that but there will also be an additional button on there to mark as not spam or mark as not junk uh, something to that effect when you do when you mark something as not junk that starts a chain reaction it benefits you because it'll look at the sender, it'll say, oh, okay, this person just reported this as not junk. So the next time this person sends them another email, we're not going to put it into junk, we're gonna put it into their inbox because it's not junk to them, okay? Other things that'll happen, it'll start to retweak the, uh, the algorithm that the whole email system in many different accounts will start to recognize. If you mark that as not junk, other people that are using other emails and that are using similar systems will start to get little corrections about that because if too many people are marking a particular style of email as junk, then it's gonna junk them for everybody. But if more and more people are marking legitimate emails as not junk, then that will also be better for everybody because more people will start to get the emails that they need and want instead of things being put into spam. Now, this is obviously something that this happens gradually. This is something that you have to do on a regular basis. So maybe once a week, once a month, go through your spam folder. And remember, things that you find in your junk and spam folder are there for a reason. So don't be too quick about clicking into things or clicking onto things, especially while you're in there, because there can be lots of dangerous things. But what you really, you're not looking for dangerous things. You're looking for things that you should have gotten, things that should have come through the regular inbox and not into spam. If you happen to find something, click on it, and then click the button that says not junk or mark as not spam, something to that effect. And that way you can have a better email experience. You'll start receiving more of the emails that you want. And uh, you could also do the opposite. 
when you start getting a lot of uh, emails that you don't want, uh, by law, if someone is sending out bulk emails, they're supposed to do it in such a way that uh, will allow someone to unsubscribe and then no longer receive those solicitations or those types of emails. But a lot of people don't follow those laws or those, uh, those principles. So if you are getting an email from someone day after day or too constantly, enough to make it annoying, how do you get rid of it? Well, you can hit mark as spam if it's coming into your inbox. You can mark it as spam or you can uh, open the email and see if there's an unsubscribe button somewhere on that email and click unsubscribe. Okay. Unsubscribe should work. If there is an unsubscribe button, it's supposed to work by law. But of course, this is a very, very difficult thing to enforce. So a uh, majority of the emails don't have it, but the few that do, go ahead and unsubscribe. It does work. That way you don't have to keep on changing your email. This, that's something else people do. You start changing their email when their old email gets all full of junk. You don't have to do that. Just start marking things as spam and unsubscribing from things. And that way you can keep your inbox nice and clean for messages that you really, really want. Thank you very much, everybody. It's 107 degrees out here and I'm on the highway. Can you believe it? All right, this has been the Computer Doctor of Tucson. Hope you guys listen to the radio show, KBOI 1030 The Voice, Saturdays at 2 p.m. And I wish you a good day, and I'll see you in the next.